Hello, and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, I've got here an interesting beer. It's the Asahi or Ash Asahi Asahi uh, Japanese Super Dry uh, beer. Um, very interested in this for a couple of reasons. One, um, I'm quite uh, a fan of Japanese uh, motoring and engineering. Um, and the second being, I'm reading the book at the moment, um, and it mentions about this beer. Um, the chap went to Japan and he was uh, got shown around the brewery, and they were very, very uh, welcoming and entertaining to, towards the chappy. Um, Pete Brown was the name. Um, the book is called uh, Three Sheets to the Wind. It's a really good book if you're interested in reading about beer. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a super dry. Um, it's the number one beer in Japan. So really looking forward to trying this. 500ml uh, brown bottle, 5% ABV. I'll let you have a look at the bottle a minute before I... Um... I've had this in the fridge chilling down. It's a lager, so... It's nice to get it. Um, Japan's premium beer, number one premium beer. Anyway, let's crack it open. Nice smoky opening. There's the crown there, some Japanese roasting on there. There we go. Let's get it in the glass. Yeah, so very interesting taste apparently, really dry. I don't know, quite know what to expect. I've been told it's very good anyway. I won't pour it all in, so it gives me a bit of room to get the aromas and what have you. Wow, now that is perfectly straw, straw coloured in a lager way you'd expect. Masses and masses of carbonation there on the base of the glass. This is a proper lager, my Cornish Core F glass. Um, quite clear beer, you can see it's slightly cloudy, but it's hard to tell because of the carbonation in there. Half a finger, just off white, very, very mild head, not a lot of foam in it at all. I'm told the Japanese like a good head on their beer, um, perhaps I didn't pour it fiercely enough, um, maybe my fault, I don't know, I may have the wrong glass there, I don't know. But either way, let's, um, let's get a nose on it. Smells nice and hoppy. You're definitely getting sort of um, I don't know what the hops are in here, but it does smell like it does smell like a lager, like a Sars hop. Very very slight sweetness in there. It smells nice and sort of fresh and grassy. <clears throat> Not getting a lot. It does smell very very refreshing. It's a very inviting smell. Trying to think of what it. I, th I think, to be honest, the Core F, funny enough, which this beer is, the glass which this beer is in, does smell very similar to this, um, which is a lager I do really enjoy. Um, it, it just smells like a good lager. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, I'm going to dig in, I think. I've stirred the head up a bit now, as you can see from the way I've been stirring the beer around to get the aromas out. Nice chill on the glass as well. Right, cheers everyone. Wow. Um, that is very dry, incredibly dry. It's not a hugely flavoursome beer, but it's a perfect summer cooler. It, it, it's got enough flavour in there to be a nice little sessioner for the summer. I've got it really chilled down. I've had it in the fridge all day, so it's really cold. Probably could do it being a bit warmed up to get a few more flavours out of it. There's a fair bit of carbonation in it, but not too much for me. Um, although it is bloating me out slightly. You get that lovely sort of SARS bitterness 
I don't. I keep saying SARS. I don't know whether it is SARS. It's the only lager hop I know apart from Harzbrucker, which I probably pronounced incorrectly. Um, I'm not the world's biggest lager fan, although after tasting a few craft lagers, the Budweiser Budvar, very impressed with that. The um, uh, blah, 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 uh, Pilsner Aquel, very impressed with that one. Obviously Co uh, Korev's, um, St Austell's Korev. I'm not a big lager drinker. Um, I like I my beer to be a bit warmer and it doesn't tend to work that well with lager if you have it warmer. But if I saw this in a bar and then I was in that sort of really wanted a nice cooling down, this this is a lovely lager to have. Much better than the mainstream cheap brands that you could get uh, in uh, in Great Britain at the moment. It's hard to pick the flavours. It's, it's not sweet. It's not a sweet lager. You get a nice bitterness throughout, and then towards the end, as your mouth sort of warms back up, there's a lingering sort of nice. Hoppy bitterness, of <coughs> me, left in your mouth, which lasts for a good, well it's still less than that, so I'll say 30 seconds a minute. Um, it is a, <coughs> a little bit too carbonated for me. Um, Asahi, pronounced Asahi, means rising sun is, and is Japan's number one premium beer known for its clean, crisp and refreshing taste. It's brewed to an authentic Japanese recipe using only the finest natural ingredients. I can't read any of that on there, it's too small. Um, www.ashaibeer.co.uk Oh, so it is, is it brewed in, brewed and bottled in the UK by Shepherd Neem? Well, there you go. So it's brewed and bottled by Shepherd Neem from so I, I I thought it was imported. <clears throat> Tokyo, Japan. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's a little bit. It's still a good beer, but it's just. Uh, I think obviously it's nice when you drink a beer that's been brewed in the original country it was made in because um, they've used their own water and their own ingredients grown over the uh, over there, or as opposed to here, it's probably. The water has been has been used from like the Shepherdine Brewery. What water they use in their own beers? Um, it's still a good lager. I would like to try um, a, a a bottle actually. It's a bit come from Japan though. Um, I'd buy that again. It's it's a nice lager. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd buy that again. Um, I don't know, given the choice between if there was other lagers on t on, uh, on on tap in a bar, um, namely the, the other two lagers or three lagers that I mentioned, but it's definitely worth a shot, this one. It is a good lager. I'll say that a few more times, it's a good lager. Mm. As you can see, it's flowing down quite easily. I say only that carbonation, but if you like carbonation, it's probably good for you. Um, I'd give this a rating, I think. For me, it's gonna get a seven out of 10. It's a nice beer, worth trying. Look it up, it's in most of the supermarkets. Um, and that's all from me. So thanks so much for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box and hopefully you will join me again soon in another review. Cheers.